Hi, I wanted to go through the motherboard research project. Um, by this point, if we're talking about the research project, you should have gotten through sections 4.1 through 4.6. Uh, you had to have passed the pre-project skirmish in order to see the research project. And then what you're going to see is the ability to make your choice on the research project itself. Uh, you will have a number of choices there, <clears throat> some of which will automatically close as they're uh, taken and show full but there should be enough for your class uh, to make your selection uh, on that. Now, just to reiterate this, this is the company and this is the socket type. So if you were to choose this one, you would be saying that I want to have ASUS as my motherboard company and the Intel sockets are as my choices on my motherboard for Intel sockets. So it'd be ASUS is the company and then the sockets either have to be the 1700, the LG. 1200 of the LG 2066. Likewise, if I did the second choice here, I'm saying Gigabyte is my company. And then the AMD sockets are my socket choices. Uh, those are options for any of the uh, different motherboards. Then the project itself, I'm going to go through now to let make sure you understand the actual research project. So you are presenting as a salesperson for that company. So if that is ASUS, you're here from ASUS to present three motherboard options for us, a home, a business, and a high-end gaming PC. You have to give us a background on your company. So you'll be telling us about ASUS and be, by the way, you have four whole class periods to work on this. Uh, the first class, you'll be passing the skirmish, choosing your company, and doing the company research. By the end of the class, your slides on your company research should be done, and you should have chosen the motherboard for your second, for your first one, which is the home PC. So then the second day, you should be through doing your uh, slides on your home PC and choose the next PC, which is your business PC. So you get the idea. Company, PC1, PC2, PC3, or motherboard one, two, and three. So you'll be presenting those choices. Uh, and here's how it's broken down. Uh, the home PC should be the least expensive option for your manufacturer. That's it. That's, that's the biggest thing. There's a couple caveats down here below that we're going to get to. But the biggest thing is price. Business PC is something... It can't be the same motherboard as your home one, but it's a mid-range one. And then the final one is a high-end gaming PC. Uh, as far as the company goes, you're going to tell us a background with a map and picture of the company headquarters. You're going to tell us how big your company is, how many motherboards you make a year, how long you've been making motherboards. Basically, you're trying to make us feel good about your company as a whole. And then you're going to talk about each one of those three options. And when you talk about them, you're going to give us the specifications of the motherboard, including the motherboard native speed, which is that fastest um, non-overclocked memory speed. You're going to tell us what CPUs are compatible with it. Obviously the socket, that's not uh, on here, but that goes along with the compatible CPUs. Um, the compatible and maximum memory that you can put on your motherboard, the number of types of hard drives, what integrated components are on your motherboard, and what expansion slots are available on your motherboard. Basically telling us the meat and bones of your motherboard. As you look those things up, if there's anything you don't understand, find out what it means. And if you had to look something up to find it out, define that for us. Explain it to us. And it says define things like CPU, megahertz, processing speed, cache, socket, socket types, anything that you were unclear about that you're like, I didn't know what that meant. Well, then explain it to us too. Don't assume that we know anything. Uh, remember that you are the sales rep. You say we, uh, not they. You are part of that company. And all the costs have to include working links to where you found them, meaning that you have to be able to click on them and it should go to whatever sales site. And again, everything has to be new, no used or refurbished parts, uh, and it has to be able to open. And I showed you before that I would always, and this is back from Chapter 3 when I did the demo, I would always screen capture those and save them at the end of your presentation. So if the, the link goes to none available when you give your presentation, you have that to back you up as well. 
You should end up with some kind of a summary slide, and your last slide should be a works cited in MLA format to explain things to us. Okay, that's the overview. And I also said when I talked about this in Chapter 3, make sure you use a design template. Custom animation should be appropriate, not distracting. We should have transitions between our slides. Make sure you have a works cited and a question slide at the end, which I just said. Okay, how do we decide? So the motherboard uh, for your home PC is easy. It's the least expensive option. It has to have integrated components of audio, video, and LAN though. Um, the why is because if we're trying to build the cheapest machine, we don't have to buy an audio card or a video card or network card. Those things all have to be part of it. And obviously, I haven't said that yet, but they all have to be ATX. The business PC, in addition to having onboard audio, video, and LAN, has to have at least six SATA 3 ports. In other words, it can't be the lowest level motherboard. Remember, the lowest level one only had four. And then as we went up with chipsets, we got to six, eight, 12. It has to have six SATA 3 ports, and it has to have at least one M.2 PCI NVMe drive slot. Home doesn't say anything about that. You're gonna use cheap drives with that as well, but on this one you do. And then on high-end gaming, it has to have six SATA 3. In addition to that, it has to have has to be able to take at least 32 gig of DDR4 or DDR5 RAM. It has to have two PCI... Why did I hit that? It has to have at least two PCI Express X16 ports for high-end video cards. It has to have an M.2 NVMe, NVMe drive slot. It has to have 7.1 channel audio or better. And the CPU socket must be the newest available CPU for that manufacturer. So if you're Intel, it has to be a Intel LGA 1700 for the gamer one. And if you're um, AMD, it has to be an AM5 CPU. That's the newest one. Kind of have them in reverse order there. Um, for the gamer only. That's the only one that has that restriction on there. So that's the basis of that. And I expect you guys to put, and by the way, the rubric's right here. You should be referring to that as your building years. I expect you to put a link to your Google slide on here as soon as you can so that I can help make sure you stay on course and you don't get off task. Now I'm going to go to Newegg and I'm going to pretend I'm, pretend I'm one of these companies and I'm going to show you how I do my search. Now, you wouldn't be at Newegg for the company background, but if I was going to uh, do a search on Newegg, I'd go down and say I'm going to do uh, components. Let's go down here and we're going to go to computer components. And oh, I didn't get that. Uh, core components. I'm going to do it on motherboards. And then I immediately have this, or am I looking at AMD or Intel? I'm gonna go ahead and say I'm an Intel person today. Then I would check only the type sockets that you're approved to use, the LGA 1700, 1200, and 2066. I'm gonna hit apply there. And then I'm gonna go down and pick my company. Why would I look at any other company? So I'm gonna say my company is EVGA. That's not one that you guys have, so I won't be um, blowing anything for anybody. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is say that I want new. Where did I see that at? Oh, there we go, new, to make sure we don't get anything wrong. Now that I've got all my company and my sockets on here, oh, I should also say that I only want ATX. There are more options, by the way, but I'm just gonna say ATX on there. And now I'm gonna order this. I'm going to order this by price lowest first. So the lowest price is one of the reasons I don't have this as my company. First of all, the reason we don't have, I don't have this, like there's only five. The lowest price one is here. As long as this has those things that I wanted, which were integrated audio, video, and LAN, this is my uh, motherboard. So I'm gonna go down here to specifications, and then I'm gonna look to see if it has those things. So I'm gonna go to the bottom, 
and I'm gonna work my way up because usually those things are listed down here. Audio port, it's got five audio ports, so I know it's got audio. Um, it's got network, there's one RJ45, um, and even says the onboard LAN, onboard audio, this is 7.1 channel onboard audio. And does it have onboard video? I don't see it. I'm going to go ahead and look at the back of this and see if I see any video ports. That is not the back. Let's see if I can do a walk around here of the back of this one. Again, this is why I didn't pick. This is one of the ones you guys could get on yours. Let's see if I can get a good picture of the back. There we go. There's the back. Let's see if we see any video ports. There's network. It's got Wi-Fi. It's got network. There's no video port. So I could not use this one for my home or my business. So I would then be done with this one and I'm going to go to the next one and see if what it's got on there. And that's basically the process. I'm going to go through each one of them. I'm going to go ahead and make it easy on myself and go through the pictures first and see if I see those things on there. And I've got two networks on this one and I've got good audio. I've got no video. So I can't use this one either for my uh, home one. And maybe that's one of the deals with EVGA. Maybe they, oh, what did I just do? Let's see if I can go and follow. Oh, uh, see if I can get a better picture of the back. Oh, this one does as video. I've got, there's HDMI, there's display port right there on there. So I should, when I go down to specifications, see those things on there. Um, on specs already. Let's see, it's LG 7900 that fits in our, our thing. There's the CPUs that would be acceptable. When I do my presentation, there's my memory, it goes up to 128 gig of RAM. There's my expansion slots. It's got two PCIe X16s on there. Storage, I'm good with both the storage that's required on there. There's my audio. There's my LAN. I don't see onboard video, but we know it has video ports on there. Let's see if I can, oh, there we go. Onboard video is supported by GPU with integrated graphics. So I've got onboard video, but I have to say that, hey, this is onboard video as long as you get one of these. And so when I pick the CPU here, one of these CPUs that I choose that has an LGA 700 has to have integrated graphics on the CPU for the onboard video to work, which means that it's a port that the CPU uses. That's good enough. That's still one that we don't have to buy a separate graphics card for. So I could use that one. That's the selection process and that's how it works. And then I'd start building my PowerPoint presentation off of these specifications that I've got here for this particular motherboard. So I've said, this is my home. So I would be using pictures. I'd have a slide talking about the LG A1700 and these are the acceptable CPUs. I'd probably include that chipset on there just so we know it's the high end because it's the 90. Um, and then when I talked about integrated things, I need to say that it has to have integrated graphics on the CPU, which is going to be the case with many of your guys's. Um, and then there's my expansion slots. There's my storage devices. There's my onboard video. All these I'd really have as, as separate slides so that you can use that slide in subsequent presentations. When we talk about just video and talk about just CPUs, you'll be able to grab that slide and move it over. That's it for the introduction to this project. As you get into it, if you have questions, please don't hesitate to raise your hand, ask me, and I'll try to clarify anything you guys have questions on during your research.